Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. Today's story, the pigtailed school social worker, 28 years old. She was arrested for raping an underage student. How underage? Well, grade six. But what is grade six? 11 years old. 12 years old. The average is 11 or 12 years old. Yeah. That's, uh, that's bad. Like, subscribe, share, all of those things help me grow this channel. If you do follow me on YouTube at Third Relify, on Rumble at Third Relify, that's where I do live streams and all of that stuff. And on X at Third Relify. So, a pigtailed social worker arrested for allegedly having a sexual relationship with an underage student. A very, very young student. Chloe Castro. 28 years old, of Lakewood, Colorado, was taken into custody Tuesday after the victim's parents notified the Arvada Police Department on October 29th, according to police. They handed over evidence that showed Castro, a social worker for Jeffco Public Schools District, was engaging in an inappropriate relationship with their child. Everyone a part of the school board, the school system, the, the whole education, industrial complex. Everyone should know. It should be thoroughly pounded into everyone's head that you don't diddle kids. You don't diddle them or flirt with them or rape them or give them alcohol or drugs or anything inappropriate. That should be thoroughly in their heads. But a school social worker, they should already extra know that. An affidavit reviewed by Nine News, revealed that the child's parents discovered inappropriate Instagram messages between their son and Castro. As I often say, always check your kids' social media. I want to be like, oh, but privacy and blah, blah, blah. I think we're at the point now where your kids maybe don't deserve to have some privacy. Usually it's Snapchat, then it's Instagram, sometimes WhatsApp or Telegram or Signal. Times just plain text messages. But this is happening. And every time, without fail, every time, there's always spicy DMs, videos going back and forth, photos going back and forth through these social media apps. The married woman, because aren't they always, just about in fact, met the unnamed student at the end of his sixth grade year and soon asked him, to be her boyfriend, the child said, according to the affidavit. Now, that's pretty messed up. That isn't just a, well, I want to get my rocks off. I want to see what this, you know, 11-year-old dick game's about. This was an actual intent to continue doing the crime, to continue harming the child for an extended period of time in a relationship. This is psychotic. The juvenile is a former Jeffco student, according to police. It is unclear how old he is. So again, the average six-year-old, sorry, sixth grade child is either 11 or 12 years old. When the student's parents tried to take his phone from him, they said their child logged out of all of his accounts and changed the passwords, according to the affidavit. So they're like, oh, what's this he got there? And then he was like, ah, and he was panicking likely because he knew what he was doing was wrong. Maybe he was afraid of getting in trouble. Maybe he was afraid of his teacher getting in trouble. But he knew that the thing shouldn't have been happening. The child's father told police he saw messages from a Chloe Castro, as well as multiple exchanges with a Jeremy, the outlet reported. During his interview, the juvenile confirmed that he saved Castro's number under the name Jeremy, and that they met when he was finishing up sixth grade. That's an interesting thing. When you are having a conversation with somebody that you know, at first glance, somebody is going to question immediately. So you change the name. I have friends. I have lots of friends. I could easily have a friend named Jeremy. So if anyone takes a, a, a look at my contact list, yeah, they'll just see Jeremy and they'll scroll on by because that's not suspicious. Where, uh, Chloe Castro would be, or a Mrs. Castro, or whatever. That is suspicious. So this kid either knew what he was doing or had some instruction 
the student confessed that Castro asked him to be her boyfriend. This married woman who has a husband is going to an 11-year-old being like, date me. Let's continue this crime inside of a relationship. The student confessed that Castro asked him to be her boyfriend and that they had planned to move to New Mexico together. According to the affidavit, I think that gets very serious when you start planning to abscond with a child across state lines or even if it's not across state lines, it's just taking a child, a minor. That's kind of a big deal. He also revealed that Castro is married, but she and her husband have an understanding that she wants to have two partners, the legal filing stated. Her husband is a cuck, and he's fine with being a cuck. He's fine with his cuck being an 11-year-old, it seems. This story just keeps getting worse. Once detectives established probable cause, they arrested Castro, who now faces one count of sexual assault on a child by one in a position of trust, two counts of sexual assault on a child by one in a position of trust with a pattern of abuse, and uh, one count of luring of a uh, internet luring of a child. Castro, uh, who was since placed on administrative leave, has been banned from having contact with any students, families, or staff in the district. The school district is planning on terminating her. The outlet reported probably union-related stuff. They probably have some steps that they have to take before they can give her a turf. The police department have not identified any additional victims in relation to Castro's case, but confirmed that she met the unidentified student while working in the district. Parents who know that their children has had contact with the disgraced school employee have been urged by law enforcement to discuss appropriate relationships between adults and juveniles, police said. Sometimes this is difficult when you have special needs children, whether that be autism or any other issue like that. You can't, you can't always explain that adequately. And these children are vulnerable, low-hanging fruit. That freaks me out every single day. The department has also asked community members to step, to step forward with any information related to Castro. The 28-year-old worked at three sites in the district from August 3rd to October 29th, including Manning Middle School, Drake Middle School, and Wheat Ridge High School. Before that, she was employed at Three Creek Kindergarten through grade 8 as a social worker, as well as Columbine Hills and Leewood Elementary Schools, where she worked as a social emotional learning specialist from August 3rd, 2021 to January 4th, 2022. It sounds like she has dealt with a lot of special needs children, especially as a social emotional learning specialist. That might, that might be what she mostly deals in, a special needs kids. I hope that this wasn't a special needs kid. I mean, it sucks that any kid was, was preyed upon, but you know, I have a soft spot in my heart for autism. Anyways, that is this story here. Pigtailed, uh, pigtailed social worker. It's, it's funny because here's, here's her, here's a photo. And so I guess it's important to mention that she is pigtails. It doesn't matter. She looks like a creep. She looks like a creep. I don't, I wouldn't want that around any children at all. So an 11 year old, a 12 year old, whatever, wanted to be the bull. This 28 year old woman wanted the 11 year old boy to be the bull and have a throuple so her husband can be cuckolded. That's crazy. Like, where does that go from there? What, like the, but the husband is what going to be in the chair awkwardly facing the bed while the while the young child goes to town like that's disgusting that is hor like i don't don't think about it it's just going to break your brain and then what the husband goes on cleanup duty like this it's, the whole thing is disgusting and it's getting worse the more i think about it i'm just going to end the video here so we don't have to be tortured with these thoughts anymore 
anyways, I love you all. Thank you for watching this video. I do appreciate your time. As always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all of those things. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>